Hey gals and goons, Unkempt Gamer here with a new series. This is the one that holds a special place in my heart. It's called This Land is My Land. Um, it's a survival stealth simulator. There's some crafting in it. Um, it has a lot to do with tribe management. Um, it's just a lot of moving parts. Definitely different from Green Hill. And we can talk about those differences too. And you'll see them as well. Um, but yes, you start out as um, a prisoner, basically. And um, your goal is to, I guess, get out. <laughs> but the first thing you want to do is pick a name. And it's kind of cool. Like, I'll just do something at random, running wolf. And, whoops. And based on the name that you give, it gives you bad things and good things, or just, ba or just bad things, or just good things. Um, there was one... I was playing around with this with different names. It's actually kind of cool. And I liked this one, and I was shocked at the abilities, at the stuff it gave me. Look at that. Stun with a stone. You'll see how that works in a minute. And plus one warriors, which is nice. It's very nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this one, and we're going we're gonna to jump in. And I think over here you've got a, a social menu. I think I'm going to turn this off. Um, I'll get to that in a second, just because I can't really control what they say. Oh, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to do a normal start. Um, it is, this game is pretty difficult, and you're going to see. I don't think I'm really, I'm definitely not ready for insane. But um, we're going to do a normal start, just so we're not really too interrupted. We will get um, interrupted with uh, settlers and whatnot. But uh, we will deal with them as appropriate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Recently rescued warriors told me that the person responsible for the massacres, which led to the almost complete annihilation of my people, is staying in one of the camps nearby. I will find him and make him pay for all the pain and suffering he has caused. This land will be mine. Hickory. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can uh, pick up, you really want to pick up wood early on, but this game is freaking beautiful. Look at it. It's amazing. And I am going to turn off these. I am really nervous uh, with what's being said down there. I'm not even reading it. But yeah, there's a, you can go offline, but there's a social mode um, where you get bonus um, skill points and things like that, um, which, which is nice because. Part of the game, one of the big things are skill points. Um, but this is your little, this is your little tribe. Looks like we've got something that we need to do: make a wooden bow and an arrow. So it's already given us like a quest. Um, yada 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 tribes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you click on your little. We're Binotian, Binotian, Binyoten. And what you can do is you can actually uh, instruct your braves to go out and gather stuff. And what I would recommend doing is gathering wood. And you know what? Let's send two of them out. And I would also recommend gathering flax. Because these items are essential in you being able to successfully defend your soon-to-be-growing uh, tribe regrowing we should say and these are all the um, the controls and everything and switching camera you know if you're left-handed like me you know that might actually be a little beneficial for you it's a little bit easier to see things that just works a little bit better for me but yeah while they're out there gathering um, you want to do some exploring and I think there was a little outpost nearby yeah um, you want to you want to set these outposts up because this map is huge and the thing I like about it, yeah, you can uh, have the map up while you're still moving around. This map is huge, and um, it, it, it getting these output. Oh my goodness! Okay, E to access skills. Yeah, that's important too. So you've got these. Whoops! You've got these skills, and I have the throw stone ability to stun somebody. You don't normally start with that, but because of my name, I started with it. And you can also just the regular stone to distract them. You can sound like a wolf, and you can smoke the herb to move time forward. Like if you're, that's really helpful. Like if you're outside a, a uh, let's just say a base that you're wanting to um, disrupt a little bit because of their presence, um, <laughs> you can smoke some herbs and wait until night, which seems to be the uh, the best time to go in there. You know, um, I've played this game just a little bit just to kind of see how it works. And 
it, it, uh. <laughs> yes, there, that's what I was talking about with the outpost. You can fast travel um, as long as you light the fire that's there. And it looks like we're almost there. And it just looks like a little lean to. Sometimes they're kind of hard to find, but another thing you can do, you can zoom in, double right mouse click, and you see at the very top, whoops, that was cool. It tells you how far away you are. So we are 24 meters in closing. Here it is right here. Early on, you want to be careful. I'm kind of being a little bold right now. Um, okay, you could have told me all this at the beginning. Yeah, if you want to access stuff, you just hold the two button down. Or if you want to change weapons, you hold the one button down. And you can go in there and change weapons. But let's get out of here. We don't really need to be here right now. I was just doing that real quick. Let's get to shuffling. So we've, we've gathered some materials. Yes, we need more hickory. Because not only do you need weapons for yourself, you're going to want weapons for your tribe as well so that they can defend themselves, so that they can go out hunting. I mean, all sorts of stuff. And we got a horsey, but uh, we're not going to use him. Oh, look at that rabbit. Yes, we know. <laughs> you can pause if you want to read all that stuff. But um, I think we pretty much have... Ooh, buck brush. You'll start to pick up really quickly what this stuff looks like. I know it's hard to see at first glance, but buck brush, you make a healing tea out of it. It's like a heal over time. I think it gives you a small stamina stamina hit. I can't remember, but it's like 50 health over like 30 seconds or something like that. You definitely want to take some of those with you. But I haven't gotten the horse yet. I mean, you know, you're probably dying to see the horsey, and we will in a second. But you don't really need him around here. Oh my god. I was telling him about that, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> that was about the camera angle. But, um, yeah. Oh, and he's letting me get really close to him. Sorry, buddy. It's time to move. I need this buck brush. Okay, you don't want to move? Please don't kick me. Sometimes they care about you. Sometimes they don't. I mean, you can get up pretty close to them. It's pretty wild sometimes. But then sometimes they, they freak out and it scares the heck out of you because you hear them running away. Kind of like in Green Hill. But now that we've got some materials, let's look at the crafting window. Yeah, I think I have enough. Let's go ahead. I don't know if I have enough for wooden bow and arrows, but we'll go ahead and craft that. That's where the flax comes into play. And yes, we want to make 10 of these. There we go. And there's no crafting queue or anything like that. And eventually, though, what you can do, you can, you can instruct your tribe to take care of this. Right now, they're out gathering, which is totally fine. Um, there's the camp inventory, you'll see it fill up. And you can add orders, like you can get them to, you know, craft all these different stuff, tees, arrows, but you're going to be mainly focusing on weapons at first. So I am armed now. So hold down the one key, boom, and you just hold the right mouse button. Watch this James Bond move right here. Look at that, isn't that sexy? So left mouse button. And you've got the indicator. And unlike green hell, this doesn't lower your stamina, so you can hold this as long as you need to. All right. Yep, and I, I got my wooden arrow back at the bottom. You see that? Okay, so we're looking good. All of my folks are out there, and I've got one guy back. And let's do this. We want to make sure. Let's see. Oh, I need more wood. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to keep on keeping on. Oh, and you don't need thing. You don't have things like uh, sleeping and things like that. I think if you do, like whenever you whenever you rest, it automatically saves, and uh, I I think that it also heals you because time moves forward. So here's the horsey, and what's weird is you. Well, it's not. At first, I hated it, but when you when you move your mouse from the right to the left when you're when you're walking, watch this. He moves right and he moves left. Oh my God! We know. Go away. Oh, there's a rabbit. So, but yeah, when you can you can move left and right like this, or you can use the mouse. Mouse. You can't do that with the horse. And at first, I freaking hated it. But when I started getting attacked by stuff, I started to love it because while horsey is, for example, it, it's it's it. There's a learning curve. I'll put it that way. But when horsey's running and you need to pull your bow out and shoot something, boom, you can. Just like James Bond, right? But yeah, he, he, the default is a trot. 
see, but you can kind of see, oh my god, yes, thank you. Most games have this at the beginning, not throughout the beginning. I need to find a way to turn that tutorial off. I mean, it's probably at the point where they're almost done telling me everything, but hey. Sumac, I haven't found a use for yet, but, you know, one of the things when you get skill points, and you get skill points doing uh, uh, all sorts of different stuff. If you if you participate in online, you get bonus ones, so, um, yeah, if you want to do that, you can do that. I just didn't want people I don't know talking down there saying things that I don't know anything, you know, I don't know what they're going to say. I have to protect my viewers. Okay, yes, there may be, blah, 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 thank you. <laughs> but the one that I'm really interested in is this one right here. Um, so it's going to take a little while to build these um, skill points up. But that allows you to pick up, um, you, know, you know, they can, they can harvest um, animal parts, you know, like boar's pelt, things like that. You want that because that's how you um, upgrade your other uh, tribes as you expand. So it's, it's really important to have that. But I think we're getting close to where we're going to be able to have some arrows for our dudes. You can kind of see how having a horse right now, it's not the best thing in the world. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it, you, have to get, you have to get off the horse in order to harvest this stuff. And, uh, okay, there he is. Yeah, and you want to keep an eye on him. You don't want to get too far out. <laughs> And another thing, the sprinting in this game is interesting because it, it, it takes a second to build up. And that includes the horse, too. Like, there's a sprint for the horse, but you don't just get on him and he takes off. I mean, it's, it's, it's very realistic. And, you know, I think it's pretty cool how the horse is kind of slow, too, when you're at a trot. Just because that's how it is in real life. I mean, you don't want to ride the heck out of your horse, you know. Um, what you see in the movies isn't really how they did it back in the day. So that, to me, is really cool. I don't know what this fireweed is for. It's for a potion or something like that. I haven't really gotten that far into the game. I just wanted to make sure I understood the controls so y'all weren't sitting here while I'm like, uh, how do I use my horsey, you know? And you gotta be careful around this type of terrain with the horse as well because the horse can get hurt. The horse does have hit points. All right, there we go. But yeah, you wanna arm your folks as soon as possible. Right now I'm kinda of taking a chance on them because they can get attacked out here. You know, there's not just from people, there's wolves out there. So you wanna arm them. And one of the things that you can do, darn it, <clears throat> not gonna have enough for arrows. But one of the things that you can do um, before you send them out, you arm them with, um, you know, bows, arrows. You can get guns. I don't really like the guns, but. Um, I, you know they're they're loud and um, I think the uh, the bows and arrows and stuff like that they're they're better they're def you know they're, some of them can cause some serious damage so it's not like guns rule the world in this game and when you're trying to stealth a camp to get rid of them you really don't want to go in there with guns blazing no pun intended you know what I guess I could have given them some of my uh, arrows but we're not gonna do that <laughs> not gonna do that that's crazy talk. So can we make some arrows now? Yeah, we can make five. So what I'll do when I get back to camp, I'll make sure that I put that in, whoops, in, I didn't do that. I'll make sure I put them in the inventory. Whoa! You what, is that, is that, did I do that? Or is this a glitch? How did I do that? That's gotta be a glitch. If y'all played this game before, let me know if, if if that's something cool you can do, because I remember Native Americans back in the day, they would they would get behind their, you know, they would get on the side of their horse. You probably know what I'm talking about when they were engaged in a fight. Okay, more flax. I'm looking for hickory though. That's what I want. Really want hickory. Ah, there it is. And hopefully my guys. We'll be coming back soon. Oh, I'll show you how to put this stuff in the camp. More sumac. Again, don't know what that's for. I know, buddy. We're getting back to camp. Don't worry, Papa. Boop, boop, be doop. You just go over here, and usually when you're in the camp, you can actually do a lot of stuff from the tab key. You just hit that. Um, let's see. Where's the option? Here we go. Put items in camp. We're just going to go ahead and put that. We're going to put the fireweed, the sumac, the flax, and the wood here, just so it's all in one place. Um, we do have one. 
And if you hold down the Alt key and hit that button, you can do, for example, five. I'm going to drop five of those down there. That way, when we send a guy out, um, you know, when we send the guys out, see, oh, look, does he already have it? He, whoops, he, he might have already picked that up. That's right, buddy. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, because if you notice, these guys aren't armed. So that was pretty quick. Yeah, I dropped it in there. There we go. But at least now that at least one of our sold, our, 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 our braves are, um, are armed, um, basically what that means is that, you know, there was one time when I had a wolf chase, or no, it was a wild pig chasing after me, and I'm running back to camp, and I didn't know what was going to happen. These guys, guns and bows ablazing, just boom, boom, took that guy out. It was wild. But with that in mind... Let's see, where are these guys? Come on, come back. He's got eight flax, nine wood. That's good. We're going to let them do their thing, and we're going to do some exploring. Let's see, so we're right there. What do we want to go? Where do we want to... You know what? we got to cause some problems, right? I mean, why else are we playing this game? Am I right? It's not to harvest hickory and blah 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 sumac and flax i mean that's what we got braves for they elected me as their leader because we're gonna kick some butt <laughs> whoa 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 yeah you gotta be careful where you go you don't want to there are cliffs and i imagine you can die so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that right there man it's already nighttime. by the time i get there it's probably gonna be day get on the road we can follow whoops then when we get on the road we can follow the road lost control of my keyboard there for a second for some reason almost jumped this guy off a cliff it's that freaking steam what do you call it uh, that overlay so let's not go that way let's go this way I think we got turned around but there's a road over here that we can access Pretty game, right? Pretty pretty. So let's do this. Yeah, okay. We're we're here. We're facing the wrong way, but we're here. Okay, these guys, they came back okay, good. And what you can do, I'm gonna instruct oh I can't instruct them from here. Wait, can I? Maybe I can, yeah, add order. So we're gonna have them make two wooden bows. Okay. And then we're also going to have them make some wooden arrows. Wood. Where are you at? Buck brush. Wooden bow. One person. Oh, wait, one. Oh, snow, wooden arrows. I'm losing my mind over here. <laughs> Let's see, so five, that should be good. And they'll they'll make them as, as they come into uh, you know, as they as they get more in their inventory. It's just whoa, whoa, this guy. Why is he moving why is he going so fast? I'm not even holding there we go. I think my shift key was stuck. Wow, that was weird. And you can have that there they are right there. That's them. Hoo 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 hoo. Oh my, whoa! Enemies need some time to find out of time you take the phrase, blah, blah, blah. As soon as the indicator becomes red, they know about you. Yep. Oh my god, is there a dude that's like right there? How do they see me already? Is it because of the hill or is it because of the horse? Well, whatever it is. Man, that's crazy. Oh, there's a guy. He's like a lookout. Oh my gosh. Yep, so we're going to have to be smart about this. Man, how does he freaking see me? That's wild. So I think what we're going to have to do, this is big. I've never seen one. But wow. So I don't think we're going to, no, it's already daytime. Dang it. This is madness. Oh, and now, oh, maybe that's why he could see me. Maybe that's why he could see me because it's morning. Okay. That is a big possibility. So we're going to go up here. And we're going to set right here. Boom. And they can't see us here. So what you can do, it's morning, so this is probably going to take a little bit of time. 
you go ahead and hit the E key, click on Smoke in the Herbs, and then you kick back and relax. And let's see what happens here. Whoa, there's a dude down there or something. What the heck? Are those my people? Do you see those blurs? That was wild. Okay, so how are we doing? Real quick, gathering wood, gathering wood. He's, he's already got a bow and arrow. He picked that up himself. Good for him. So, we need to get more flax as well. I'm just going to do this real quick. Gather. We'll send one out. Take horse. No. Flax. There we go. Maybe we'll send them out with horses when they're hunting animals. Okay, let's get back to it. La 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 la. Time keeps on slipping. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on? What is that? This is crazy. This is crazy. What the heck is going on? Are they are they in a fight? Or are they practicing? I don't know. That is madness. I definitely didn't see anything like this when I was playing. I don't think they're shooting at me. This is crazy. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Wow. This is crazy. I've, I've never even seen this type of behavior before in them. I don't know if they're fighting somebody or what, but we're going to wait until nighttime. Hopefully the firing will stop then. All right. I'm probably going to cut out a lot of that stuff. And it looks like it's quieted down a little bit. So they've crafted some bows and blah blah blah. They're out gathering wood and flax. So they're doing their job. Let's do this. Let's let's have them. Let's have them gather some more wood. I think it's at the bottom down here. Yeah. Send. So we got two guys going out. Oh, and you know what? I'll show you. Do we have wooden? Yeah. Okay. We've got. Okay. We've got the inventory. So I'll send one guy out. Watch this, for example, for wood. And you can send him with a weapon, and you know, you want to give him five arrows, well, let's say four, you know, <laughs> boom. And he'll go out and he'll be protected, so if he runs into trouble, he'll be the trouble. So let's see if there, if, if we can sneak into camp under, uh, oh, under cover of night, but it looks like we won't need to. Next to crouch. Be very quiet. Who is this guy? Why is he wearing tiger stripe pants? Oh, that's just the shadows. Whoa, is that a... Is that one of my guys? Whoa! That's what happened. They took down the camp. Hey, man, I was gonna do that. <laughs> was gonna do that buddy that's not cool well that was wild that was wild never seen anything like that before that guy's pretty strong so let's go down there I wanna let's see here that's no fun we were gonna do that <laughs> let's see I don't think they're gonna be hostile they wouldn't be hostile for us would they we're buddies. Let's see. So their camp, that's probably the Hasura, is what I'm guessing. Good times. And... Yeah, they don't seem... Yeah, my shift key is definitely sticking. So let's do... 
We want to prove ourselves, don't we? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. And I'm going to point my horsey in the opposite direction, just in case we need to make a quick inch, a quick exit. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and mark this, just so I know how far away we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Again, you can you can freeze frame if you'd like. All right. Let's do this. Hey, you want to hear my wolf call? <laughs> Hit X to duck. Because they can still kind of see you when they get really close if you're not careful. I can hear him coming. I think I see him. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably looking for this. Go check it. Ah, okay. Be useful. So we got Wait, some info from interrogating him. You tell everything you want. You're probably looking for this. Go check it. Yeah, I'll check it. Thank kill you, buddy. Me leave me. We're not gonna kill you. Ah. Oh no! What was that? I don't know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy. Back a little bit. I've oh, got to hold Z to drop him. There we go. Now let's go through him. And we'll take everything. Okay. I didn't kill him, did I? Oh my god, I didn't kill him. I hit that. I don't. I didn't kill him, did I? Whoops. Maybe I did. Sorry about that, buddy. Was not my intention. Well, um, his buddy's asleep, so... <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm a peaceful person. Hey, buddy. I came to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I can be useful. I can be in use for you. Wait, wait, here's my belongings. Please leave me yeah. alone. See, that's what I did. Okay, let's go ahead and loot him as well. Does that overburden us no it doesn't okay good so let's go ahead we're gonna intimidate him <laughs> I mean we could have picked a better spot I guess that is one way to intimidate him I don't know <laughs> sorry buddy I'm sprinkling something on you yeah time to go okay this is you leaving get out of here yeah I know get out of here I'm gonna go through your stuff now Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and t t take all this stuff. Learn how to craft. Chapman works. At, okay, I'm assuming that's a gun. Loot. You can trade this stuff. Like some of it, you can craft with, but this, you just you just take somewhere to tr to trade it. And I'm gonna take all. And we're still not overburdened. That's good. I brought some toys for my Braves to play with. What do you say? Okay, and now we gotta find the horse. Oh, you know what else we wanna do? We want to put this little fire out. Light off. And you can also, when you get gunpowder, when you turn it off, you can put gunpowder in it so if anybody else lights it, they get a, a big happy birthday surprise. Yeah, I try to have my horse almost, you know, around 100 meters away from the camp just because I imagine they're loud. So see, we got to have some fun. Now, they got to have like a big, big party with those other dudes, but... We had a little private party. Those are always a little more intimate, am I right? <laughs> Let's go over here and we'll hit this outpost up. And um, and I can show you how fast travel works. Come on. Oh my goodness. This game, it's an early release. There we go. It's only 300 meters away. That's actually not that bad. It's far if you're walking, but not on horseback. Oh, are we entering? Oh yeah, it's a it's a done camp. Yeah, it's a done deal. 
Eh, we'll give it a wide berth just in case. Because guns do hurt. They can really hurt you, mess up your day. You get hit a couple times and you're done for. Ooh, yeah, this is one of those things that those, above, you know, those hills that I was telling you about that you have to be careful with. Ah, here we go. You don't want to run too fast because your horse is not indestructible. And horses, from what I see, are, are very uh, 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 an important commodity. Hopefully this water isn't too deep. What was that in the water? God, it's such a pretty game. Look at this. This is amazing. So cool. So cool. Is that thing alive? He's asleep. Wooden bow. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, maybe a heart shot is as good as a head shot. That's how you get to the heart. And all you have to do to get your arrow back, just walk over it. Oh. Yeah, I got him right in the head. Okay, it's not giving me my arrow back. It's It doesn't always, you don't always get it back. Yeah. See, right there. I guess it just, the arrow just went in at a weird, a weird spot. That's okay. No worries, no worries at all. Now, how do we get up here? Uh, maybe there's a little... There we go. Yep, so we're bringing meat back. And we are close to our outpost. So not only have we convinced some settlers to stay away, that this is truly our land, um, we got some meat, and we got some uh, weapons for our warriors. And it, there's, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but you can't fast travel with your horse, but the horse will come with you. I always stand next to him because I'm paranoid. But if you try to try to travel on your horse, it says you can't do it right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to camp right here, travel to camp. It'll tell you it's going to take a bit of time. You know what, before I do that, no, I got my guys going out getting stuff. Okay, good. Yeah, they're still gathering, so that's perfect. Wood, wood, flax. Ooh, that guy decided to... Okay, hey, you got a gun? Go for it. Travel to camp, yes. All right, we are back at camp. Hey, buddy, looking sharp there with that. What is that, a rifle? Shotgun? I don't know. You, it looks great on you, my man. Can't do it. Can't use anything with it without bullets, though, can you? So let's go ahead and put him... We're gonna put all these in here. What do they use? 75 cal. Look at that blunderbuss. 54 cal. 54 cal. And we've got some 54 cal. I'm just gonna hold the shift key down. And we've got 75. So if you want to shoot this musket ball, go for it. <laughs> so let's see. We've got wooden bow. Loot. Close. So there we go. There's that. And when we go here, when we click on this, we've got our bows, we've got all our weapons that we can give them. They're still making them, they're still going out. And oh my goodness, we've grown. So yeah, this this underscores the reason to get wood and to get, um, you know, and to get flax because you need rope. Like if you're gonna settle, where is it? Is it this one? If you settle, you can set up a new camp and see, we've got this area of influence here. I'd probably do something up here. You sure you want to settle? We'll just say yes. But look, we need rope. So we need our guys to make rope as well. So that's what I'm going to have them do next. I'm going to add the order for... We're just going to do 10 rope. Because we're not going to... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're not going to need rope all the time just yet. Um, but it's good to have a guy using the uh, flax that we have. Uh, uh, to make rope and then when we're ready to expand our territory that's exactly what we're gonna do and I don't need that anymore so yes I'm just looking around we've got a little trader there we might have to get to him next time up here I think this is the ratio of land that we've taken back versus our enemies the settlers but yes um, let's just make sure did my horse make it back with me 
Uh oh, we were. Where were we? Oh yes, there he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, I was worried about you. We were hidden a little too well, weren't we? All right, so what do you think about this game? I personally am in love with it. I mean, we have just scratched the surface on what this game does. Um, oh, another thing. One other thing before I let you guys go, I want to show you something that's really important. You come over here to save the game right here. You can rest, you can save, but what you can also do if you're done playing, you, I don't normally show this because I like the drama, but um, you can save and exit to menu if you don't want to rest because if you do choose the rest and save option, it shoots you into the future a couple hours. I don't know how many hours. I mean, there really isn't any time in this game, which really makes sense to me because... We really didn't have watches now, did we? But yes, if you enjoyed this game, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. If you like this game, you want to see more of it? Well, regardless of whether you want to see more of it or not, we're going to do some more because I freaking love this game. I'm not stopping Green Hell. You know, definitely take a look at that. I'll put some links at the end, um, you know, for um, our, our building bases and unique places. Um, I also played a game called um, My Island, and very soon in the near future, I'm going to be playing the um, stranded deep as well but yes if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel it would mean a lot to me um, drop a comment down below um, you know if you have any questions or if there was anything you noticed that um, I didn't see um, I would love to hear it but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you when I see you